and welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. And I am the Bench Monster. Thank you for joining us this week. Good to have everybody. Hope you're having a good week. Absolutely. Hey, that was going well for you. That was a good show last week, wasn't it? Bro. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. It was. What did you think? Uh, it was everything I thought it would be, and um, I thought Mendelssohn was on his best behavior. I mean, um, I know Mendelssohn. You don't. So you you had some interaction with him on some questions. That... We've never had a guest be scared to answer questions. <laughs> like Our questions are all so basic, and there were about three of them that he wouldn't answer. All we, I remember... We've never had that before. I was like, all I remember was all right. <laughs> no injuries. And I don't know. I saw a torn pec. I know. Never, and... never had anybody that wouldn't. That, you know, whatever, that's an injury whatever. to me, but he was a, he was a good man. Yep, he was he was entertaining. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely. We're gonna warm up the show here. I got some gym fails. This was on Facebook earlier today. It's like four minutes of the funniest shit I've ever seen, and uh, some theatrics that people do in the gym. So we're just gonna play this real quick. Maybe talk over it a little bit before, while everybody gets settled in their seats. Okay. Let's check it out a little bit. I mean, it's um, it's got its ups and downs. Oh my god. Hey, nobody. I don't think nobody gets hurt. Um, that bad. I mean, that's just asking for trouble right there. I mean, that's going to get you in the face. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. There's quite a few. Well. Oh, my God. Well. Hey, at least oh, these people are. Oh. These, ouch. These people are trying. Jesus. I give them a, a B for trying. That would be so embarrassing. Oh, my God. Oh. I, what I don't do know you what. think we was going to. Some of these, it's like, what were you trying to do? I don't know what people are thinking. Uh, this one was interesting. It's like about 315, 375. It looks like he's got it. He just needs a little spot. Not oh. that. Oh. 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 What my could god. go? Oh my god. Six people to help him out. Ooh. Yeah, not good. That's this looks like a home gym mm -hmm. and whatever. Uh, I've done this at two Gold's gyms. Yes. You yeah. totally did that with the band. Uh, the one in Florida. And then I was trying I was trying to bounce it down and it the band bands kept bouncing it back. That was yeah. and you put it through the wall. Yeah, put it through the wall. Once in Florida and once here. Wasn't um, there for the one in Florida. That looks uh, like a T bar row. I like that. Oh, that's not uh, good. That that'll smart. This lady's got um, bumper plates, not four oh five. I don't Oh Oh how did that even happen? Well it happened. Now that is a perfect Roll out. I don't know what gym this is where you climb up into the rafters. That's different. Yeah. Uh, what do you... uh, doing some Olympic lifting there oh. for a second. Oh. Yeah, some of these are bad. I don't, but like I said, I don't think anybody's actually gets killed. That's okay. Want well, some front squat? No. Nope. Uh. That uh. was a quick no no. Nice step. Oh, out. Eat. Oh. God. Oh, Somebody's that's like, nice. Oh. That's nothing wrong with that bench. That's what clips are oh, for. that's embarrassing. Yeah, clips are, like, they must not have clips at these gyms. I don't know. But you, it's just amazing. Oh, nice lift, son. Where are you going? Oh, chalk bucket got that it. That wasn't. Yeah. That looks like an industrial gym right there. But uh, you got to use clips, people. Yeah, uh, uh, clips are amazing. Um, I don't know oh. why these gyms don't have them. That was dumb. Now this is cute. For a second, something tells me. It well, it's a, it's a date because it she's putting out now. <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. Huh? Hey, nice deadlift. Ooh. I think he passed out. Looks kind of like that. There you go. What can go wrong here? I don't know. Oh, I like it. It just takes you down, doesn't it? When he gets behind the head like that. Uh, wow. Um, clips? Or no clips? Oh. That oh, clip. Jesus. Um, some bigger girls. Uh, I don't know what they were trying, but that didn't work. That was really stupid. <laughs> the gymnast rings. Uh, once, oh, that right on his neck. That might uh, He might be paralyzed. I don't know. Yeah, like some of this. Yeah. Hey, that's weighted dips. We do those. Not you, like that. How did you think that was a good plan? That would pop out all like my... Some of these things, it's like, okay, crap. Like, they know the shit's Some of these, it's like, why... What did you think was going to happen? Well, this guy here knows his what. Ouch. Out the door, too. <laughs> see you later, son. Bye. No. Stuff you don't see every day. Oh. Now that, you're see, just like, an idiot. See, like, it's a stupid idea. Somebody's yeah. like, what? Baldy you... locks, you're an idiot. 
Are those gymnast things, Miss Ashley? Parallettes, yep. Parallettes. We didn't do sh oh, that's not good. What's he training for there? Yeah, it looks X-rated. Oh, to me. that was Ali. Um, that's in a house, like an apartment. Well, that's cute. Oh my god. Well, she didn't get hurt. No, clearly, apparently not. Ooh. So, some of these things are just like this old man here was kind of cool. I don't think he got hurt though. He got he takes it in the face, but yeah, you know that didn't hurt. Oh, well he went down. I don't know. I think he got hurt. No, oh, I well it's he over. Was doing that for added humor. Added humor. Okay. Well, so, uh, because they were laughing. Let's move into Miss Ashley's videos, shall we? Yeah, I didn't get to fit. I started sending them this morning actually, and I. Today was so hectic and crazy. I never finished. We never got your bench video. I had hey. a, well, I had like two or three more that I was. I want to know why your videos are coming in like three PG format off oh, an I iPhone. No I don't either. And so what I have to do is convert them to MP4 format, and they don't come out like perfect. I can't get them. We got to figure out what's going on with your phone yeah, I don't know. because I'm getting shitty quality here, and nobody wants to see fuzzy videos. But that being said, what are we doing here, Miss Ashley? I don't remember. <laughs> well, you're squatting. We're squatting, yeah. I want to say 300. I'm not sure. 300 even? Maybe. Okay. I think this was the day I did five sets of five. I think it was 300. I didn't edit these down, so I don't know how long they are. Well, I tried to. Okay. I was having some weird issues with that, too. Well, you need a new phone. I know. And we gotta, I think you need to delete some things off your phone mm -hmm. to make more room. Probably. Okay, so how many reps are we doing here? I didn't even watch this video. What did I did you listen? I just did Well, five. you said three hundred. I said five sets of five. Okay. I well, think was... This is one set of five, right? Well, this is yeah, I only showed okay. one set, but Well, it's a little yeah, fuzzy. They're blurry. Like, yeah. what's up with that? It's it's what I'm getting from you on your phone. That's weird. I don't know why. I need to look at your phone. Because well, your next video is I think somewhat the same. Oh really? Yeah. Well, we don't even have to even play it. Well, people want to see it. Okay. A little bit. Uh, it's nothing special. Like it's nothing special. Everything you do is special. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But okay. Well, whatever that was. Okay, deadlift. Let's check this out. This ain't too bad. No, it's just nothing super cool. It just three seventy five, three ninety five, six doubles here on this day. Are you using the Oki bar, the deadlift bar? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit of whip in it. That's what's good about it. Are you on a block or anything, or just straight on the floor? That's off the floor. Okay. Oh, uh, Darren, I did have some block pulls that I was going to show Do you that were pretty heavy, but I didn't send them to you. Okay. Again, I, like I said, I had about three or four more that I wanted to send. Well, you should send them so I can put them on here. Well. Uh, it would have been a, a red light in the USPA. What one now? Dude. Don't... Oh, where are we at now? We're in some videos well, thank here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, you don't lift in the USPA, so don't worry about it. Uh, we got some Jimmy Kolb videos here. I see Jimmy Kolb in the chat box over here, and I talked to him today because I saw some freaking awesome lifts that he's been doing. Uh, we're going to start off with his 1020. I got it written down in a supercharged Ram, and I don't, I haven't seen this. Uh, this was very impressive. Let's check him out. Uh, 1020 right here. Awesome lift. In a Ram. I think I've wore a Ram once myself. I mean, that's fucking amazing, man. Jesus, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> that is impressive. Jimmy, uh, impressive individual. That, it just gets Very, even better. Like, this yeah. was sent to me. You just keep doing more and more amazing things. Somebody, and they said, Jimmy Kolb's 1300. Did I see it? And I go, no. And I said, well, I want to see it. And here it is. You're doing 1,300 off a of two board. That's 1,300 fucking pounds, people. Any way you slice it. Jesus, brother. 1,300. Now, Ashley, you, were you in the gym the day I had 1,200 no. and some chain? No, it was down. you do it on Tuesdays. And no, it was on a Saturday. It was UGF back in 2010. Oh, wait. So, okay, sorry. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I had 12. UGF. 1200 and we couldn't get any more weight on the bar so we put some chain it was yep. like 1244 yeah it was totally there 1300 jimmy you are a beast now we got your friend in mind uh scott mendelson and uh what's he doing what's it say ashley 
know. It says Mindy 920. Let's check out oh, Mindy's 920, 920 bench. Is what it this is saying. interesting because I think I'm getting a shirt just like this. Something red from Pharrell. And uh, Mindy touches here, which is kind of cool. We just had Mr. Mendelssohn on the show last week, and it was a riot. It was a good time. <laughs> It was entertaining. It was entertaining. Everybody Nobody loved it. can say it wasn't. He's a very popular individual. And a uh, little 920 full range here. And I got to get that bar right there, that Texas bench bar. Mindy talks highly about it. Gets set out in his line right there, and all you got to do is bring it down and bring it up, as Mr. Mendelson would say. It came down pretty easy. Came up easy, too. Nice lift, Scott. Effortless. You scratch that off the board. Let's see. All right, where are we at? We're cooking. Uh, one rep max. Uh, Bench Monster family member mm -hmm. sent to me some videos. Very loyal and dedicated. Always here. Um, one rep max is doing four fifty five, four ninety five, and five forty five, all off a three board reverse band press method let's check mr one rep max out little training videos here and obviously i think he posts on tiktok that's where i hang out <laughs> they love me on tiktok that's how i first started moving a thousand pounds was on reverse band press like that with a two board in a shirt he's training hard and he's a dedicated hardcore power lifter even if he's only a bench presser, I call him a power lifter. Uh, Cody Plum, another bench monster family member. Team bench monster. Yep, another very loyal. I one. was at this meet. I didn't hand off for him, but I was coaching from the side, letting him know where he was. Three, oh, two. Was this one at path? Th this was the one uh, last week. Yeah, or 584 here. And uh, ends are, I think, triple phenom blue. And, uh, yeah. Took a while to get down. I was, you know, uh, the lowering phase. You know, I like to get the bar down quickly, but Cody has uh, just pure control right here. And uh, I was like, three, two, one. And he moves it right up. He had more in him, too, but that was a third attempt. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm over there clapping on the left. No <laughs> one saw me. No, I don't see you. No, you don't. But good job, Cody. That was uh, a third attempt. Very I think he did five. That's awesome. What do you do? 545, 569, something like that. But I just took the biggest lift. So that was impressive. Very impressive. Uh, nice where are we work. at now? Oh, my God. We got a couple weeks worth of speed bench and max effort workouts. Oh, yeah. So you want to be bored or you want to hang around and we'll, we'll talk through these. Um, let's just check out speed bench. Here's the time to take your bathroom break, folks. Just <laughs> Don't hit me. Take your bathroom break. All righty. Speed bench. Ashley, where are you going? I had a couple things I wanted to do. Ashley's leaving. That's shitty. Yeah, that's great. I called you right out. Even though they can't see you, I called you out. Okay. This is uh, two weeks ago. I believe we're doing some volume here. Like uh, eight sets of ten. Let's count them out here. We're all, I can't remember. Alzheimer's in my old age. It's hard to remember every set and rep. Uh, we'll just count them here. This is Mike Lupacek. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, was it 10 sets of nine? I don't know. Something like that. I only record the first grip, the second grip, and third grip. And we, I believe we did eight eight or nine sets here, or ten sets, I don't remember. And at this time, we were taking two-minute rests. But um, this type of hypertrophy method is very taxing on the body and didn't benefit me well come max effort night. Found, maybe I'm just not conditioned enough, and I'm uh, GPP is a, is a concern, but... I notice after I do this type of training for a couple weeks on Tuesday night, I didn't have much piss and vinegar in me. And uh, that opted me to switch back to uh, my nine sets of three, which usually happens when I'm 10 weeks out from a contest anyway. So, uh, yeah, my grips are close and uh, pinky on the ring and then wide, I would assume. 
275. You wouldn't think would tax the body very much, but uh, 10 sets of nine or whatever, yeah, he got the best of me a little bit. Hines here is uh, my center guy, my handoff person. Very important individual. And uh, he's using 225. He had been nursing a clavicle rhomboid, some type of issue from doing trap bar deadlifts a month and two months ago with 600 pounds he did a double and kind of irritated some awkward ligament and tendon in his body up upper chest area and so we've been kind of taking it easy making sure not to flare and let that thing show its ugly face again and he's actually getting uh talked to him today almost 99 percent back so he's not living in pain anymore so so basically this is like one speed bench workout and then uh there's not much of it, I remember. And then the second speed bench workout is the one we did uh, last Friday. So since having a guest on the show, I have a lot of backup material here. Come on, people move quicker. I'm over there asking questions because I'm wondering how this is going to benefit me on Tuesday because it's always been a concern. I want to come in Tuesday on max effort day and have a 95 to 100% of pushing power. Come in and I'm 75, 60%. I'm, there's no good. There's no benefit to this right here because I do bench two times a week. Like I said, people, if you want to step away, use the restroom, make some popcorn, take the dog out. It's a good time. Nothing too exciting here. Uh, same rigor and roll here. I mean, I think we're working our grips out, obviously, on each set. But, uh, yeah, Heinz is going by Phil here. This is two weeks ago, so he doesn't... Uh, want to wake up that uh, painful thing in his upper chest it's not a pectoral thing it's a uh, more like up in the clavicle up around the uh trapezius and back there he's got some type of weird issue that has healed itself i like to th i like to say mike lupacek quit talking and bench nothing's funny There should not be much more of this to see, ladies and gentlemen. I believe this should be the last you see of this exercise. Oh, Ashley's back. Nice to have you back. We were just watching a little bit of a high repetition bench press thing here. No, not strong. We're trying to build muscle here. This is the type of training I do not do. Definitely something in the off season. Forrest Jenkins here joined the crew nine weeks ago and went from, I think he's a 375. We got him up to 410. So he's making progress. I believe, as I see here, I stick with 275 straight across the board for 10 sets of nine or nine sets of nine or whatever we're doing here. All I'm thinking about right here is all these repetitions. Am I going to be strong on Tuesday? And I was not. It was a piss poor workout, as we'll see when I play the max effort exercise next. Looks like we moved into some foreboard, some lockout here, close grip. Can't remember the sets and reps.
We are using, Heinz and myself are using three board because the other gentlemen have a bigger abdomen. So they use a three board. <laughs> what? That's what I say. It wasn't me that said that. It was actually Mike, the guy handing off. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he said they have a built in four board, basically. <laughs> I kind of wish I had one. Being six foot three is uh, not advantageous. There's a lot of bar travel when I push the bar. Never liked it. Yeah. Dude, I have a, such a long stroke, too. Yeah. Ugh. Well, you can counter it's that rough. by building a boiler. Yeah, but. <laughs> Build I a want board. my six pack. Man. I know. Well, you can't have the best but, of both yeah, worlds. Don't make a... So this is That's done true. after all these repetitions, full range. And uh, I see Ashley just showed up in the background with, with her bench band and a water jug. And oh, yep, there I am. Yep. Did you put the bench band on that day? You brought it I in. Remember? Probably. I brought it in. All right, bench monster going here. Three plates. I know it's not a lot of weight, but it's volume we're after here. Okay. This is something we do for warm-ups that Chris Duffin taught me, but we're actually doing it as a rotator slash shoulder movement too. It's uh, definitely jerry-rigged. I mean, we, you see chains, kettlebells, carabiners, and a push-down strap. And where are we going now? Oh, push-downs. I didn't design this workout. This was designed by Mike Lupacek, and we quickly changed this in the next speed bench exercise video that will play in a minute and 30 seconds or less. Uh, high volume pushdowns. Not a big fan of pushdowns. I'm rolling dumbbells. I'm JM presses. I like to do these uh, before I walk out of the gym, but I'll follow uh, the rules. Uh, dynamic effort two. This would be last Friday. Now we're back to the Canelli method here. We're doing nine sets of three, double mini bands. Working on speed and explosive power based off our one rep max. With the close grip emphasizes a lot of tricep. Triceps are 75% of your bench press. So saith Louis Simmons. This is what my body's used to. Back to back to back. In at three, out at four. One hour. A lot of volume done between that those times. Dan Logman decided to come over. He comes over on Tuesday to Max Effort with us. He came to utilize some speed bench training that will benefit him. Call it what you want it, but anybody that uh, has never done speed benching that I apply speed benching to their workout program uh, makes progress. So, people say it doesn't work for them, then so be it. Yeah, sets are back to back to back here. I don't know why I'm loading weights. Everybody should be loading weights. Everybody is loading weights. Not that I've seen. Okay. Where you been? But you haven't even been down here for the last 10 minutes. Or, well, Jimmy. Jimmy. Forrest. <laughs> Jimmy's working out with us? <laughs> Ashley just said Jimmy's there. I don't see him. Forest. I'm excited that Jimmy, because I saw Jimmy was on the show, so okay. I'm just really excited that he's here. Um, I want to get some monster minis. That's what I should be using, but we, we got the regular mini bands for 75 pounds like that at the top, on top of the bar and bar weight. Monster minis doubled like that are 110 pounds, plus whatever you add to the bar. Uh... Dan here's got good speed. I don't have the velocity meter to test it, but I will bring it tomorrow. Periodically bring it in to make sure we're pressing in concentric phase 0 0.8, 0 0.9 meters per second. Speed is key. It's moving too slow. Got to lighten the workload. We uh, said Forrest didn't lock the weights out all the way in the previous videos. He, he watches the show and he's correcting that. He's pushing mm -hmm. it all the way to lockout now. Mm -hmm. I guess running my mouth on here has its benefits. I guess Just so. rambling these chops away. Uh, Heinz here. Mm. Yeah, it's not as fast as I want it to be. Love those dark side cuffs. Boom, boom, boom. Uh-oh, here we go. Changing grips. 
So I believe we're doing thumb length from smooth. We switched the grip up a little bit. We're widening out. Thumb length from smooth, pinky on the ring, and then ring finger on the ring. That's how I originally started to do it back in the day. Sometimes I come in to trigger finger on smooth and then work my way out and keep everything within the rings. Trying something a little different here. Uh, got a lot of change on the bar there. Heinz is not wearing his cuffs. That speed looks okay, but the machine don't lie. Bring that thing in tomorrow. Pinch monster, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Uh, let me with some incline. Got the garage door open. It's a nice day out. This is the machine here that uh, gave me a little peck tear. Machine. This whatever this is, because the the fucking seat's it's all the way so low to the ground you can't get any leg drive. You're actually your butt's like five inches off the ground right there. I don't like it, but we use it. And we came over here. We're doing like uh some bodybuilding shit, like four reps to ten. So I won't bore, we wouldn't post all those sets and reps mm -hmm. on here because people will fall asleep. So I just get the first uh, movement. Heinz is a really good uh, incline person. When I first met him, he uh, claimed he did uh, 365 on incline and his bench was much less. He did a lot of incline. Now his bench is much more. Heinz, uh, at any time of the day, goes up to 485, so... Just because that's what uh, four reds and kilos is. Dan Logman here is sweating profusely because the short reps, uh, short rest well, periods are, are kicking his there. ass. And it's hot that day. Yeah, it was a heat wave back then. It was like 90. Yeah, we were sweating. And with no rest, it makes it a little bit more uncomfortable. Big things from this kid right here, Forrest. I, I see him going big places in a short amount of time. Three lift lifter, too. He likes to pull and squat and uh, do all that. Ah, football bar uh, with double mini bands. And we're doing uh, some skull crushers with them. Sets and reps here I'm sure I designed, and I don't know what we did. Six of eight, something like that. And then we did these. I saw Matt Winning do these on his uh, Instagram page this past uh, week before this extra, this uh, speed bench, and it was a ratcheting movement here on the pushdowns. No momentum here on the up phase, and it's basically three or four positions on the way down. These are tough sons of bitches. I mean, eight reps is pretty tough because your your brain gets into counting the uh, the ratchet areas, and you can't remember how many sets you've done. And it, these are tough. Definitely makes the brain switch a gear right here. Then you're usually uh, your chicken flapping arms doing up and down super fast. Mm -hmm. It just throws a wrench in the wheel. That's kind of fun. Makes veins come out of your triceps. Or whatever that. What Ashley, what's that in my arm? A night crawler? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your tricep. Got worms. Un un unnormal. Yeah, abnormal. Legs. Like biceps, okay, but like, well, to have a vein like that on your tricep? Jeez. It's a living organism. You're such a strong man. I'm not strong. Oh my God, we're done. Hey, uh, I hope. Are we done? No? I don't know. I think, I think we're think done. I just went black. Hey, everybody's got to come back, bring the dog in, and uh, flush <laughs> the toilet, wash your hands, and let's move into max effort. I'm sure we have two of these. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to talk through them because if I see them, I'll remember what we're doing and I'll have commentary that I will provide. Let's check it out. Okay, so basically here. Um, this is the first week uh, after doing all those reps, those nine sets of ten on the bench, and... I'm uh quit. I did one. The only reason I did one rep right there is I'm pissed because my front delts are freaking shot. I know I don't have any reps in me because I did all, all the reps 72 hours prior, and I'm a little upset right now because I know this is going to be a piss poor workout. 
That's why you're not seeing me do doubles or triples right there. Usually I do more than that, but I'm just like, uh, I better save what I little I do have. And Heinz was struggling too. And uh, we both knew what was going on and why it was happening. This is a new uh, band that F uh, Pharrell sent me. Uh, sent me three of them, actually, and uh, I was very impressed with them. Great uh, workout tools here. That's the XL single, I believe. And, of course, you know, I switch around into things. Into the Bumblebee. The dark side. And uh, what do we got? 705, one board. Uh, didn't pop, uh, These weights aren't popping like they should, but, you know, what, what do you do? Let Heinz get into it one time. He's going to do a two-board with 705. And that's not moving like it should either, but, you know. Uh, oh, a little Viper 2, Viper 3 combo here with, uh, that was 800. He's moved pretty quick. Got Heinz here with uh, 900, I believe, 885. Not the prettiest one. He comes back. Uh, a little bumblebee for Forrest here with uh, 600, 595. He likes to go full range. Nothing wrong with that. Takes care of that pretty easy. Uh, 885 here for the bench monster in, in, a, in a Pharrell shirt. And uh, left elbow was lagging right there. It was hurting. And uh, But what do you do? Here's Heinz with 900 off a of three board. A little crooked, but, uh, you know, you take it. Uh, this is a thousand right here. Interrupted the video there. You can't see much, but uh, I didn't lock that on left side because my left elbow um, around the medial head was killing me. Heinz trying another 900 here, I think, trying to better the last lift. Loves that 900. <laughs> I wasn't impressed with that workout. Thank God we're at part two. This was last Tuesday. Okay, we got some new toys. From Pharrell, we got uh, some two sh two ply Pharrell shirts, and we got a kind of a band half band shirt. Got some new toys here, so a few people are trying them. Today's uh, game plan was to do some repetitions. <clears throat> Let's see. Dan Logman here. What's he doing? Oh, Dan got a, a Pharrell shirt. That's what we're doing. Got a two-ply. So we're breaking it in. You know, I thought going to two board would be a good idea, then one board, then maybe we'll touch. That's uh, 425 to a two board. It's got the neck all the way up and the sleeves all the way up. We did a little experimenting on this day, and, and having these uh, new shirts from Pharrell we were kind of a godsend. Uh, here's Dan with a 485 to a one board in his new two ply Pharrell shirt, pops it up. Now we're going to go full range, 485 touch and puts it up. Okay. Well, he can do that in a single ply. So I'm like, um, that shirt is too big, but there's some things we're going to do to it. We're going to critique it here in a minute. Uh, Forrest here doing 545 and a little two ply Pharrell Band, band sling unit. He's doing some repetitions with it. Need a little half shirt there. Uh, I put on that same unit. I'm going to try 545 myself. See, didn't touch the first one, but I think I get the second one. Feeling a lot better, too, since the nine sets of three were done on 72 hours prior. Heinz is making sure I'm bringing that down in the correct position. No weird things happening. Otherwise, he pulls it up. Okay, Dan here, we started adjusting his shirt. We started pulling down the neckline, pulling down the shirt, clamping it with his belt. And now we're at 595. And I'm going to hand off to him because I want to oversee everything from the top. There he is, building, 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 getting tight. Three, two, one, and up. Easy. Okay, that was impressive. Um, Heinz, two ply, 600, basically 595. Working on touching full range, the easy left right there, 595. That'd be an opener in a contest right there. 
Now, here we go. See the shirt, how it's pulled down? We got the sleeves at his elbows. This was uh, something we learned on the spot here. This is something everybody does, obviously, but this is uh, 645 right here. Never done this before in his life. So the adjustments of the shirt made a huge difference. Took a while to get down, but he's in his line and more in the tank. Told him to stop right there. That's good enough for today. And he was uh, getting a little dizzy when he stood up, so we had to hold him down. Uh, close grip. Immediately to close grip. Uh, 375 or 425. This depends on how I'm feeling. I'm looking pretty bloated. Uh, 425. Five reps, I believe we're after. Kind of running out of gas right there. I'm going to be the first to admit it. Everybody partakes in the close grip. 6.30, so we've been there for two hours, but we don't start until 5 o'clock. And we try to be out of there by 7. Good job, Heinz. Uh, rolling dumbbells. I decided to throw these in, 105-pound dumbbells. Everybody likes to know, you know, 105-pound dumbbell rolling dumbbells. There you go. Probably could have went more. Did two sets there and a couple at 95. And, whoa, there's not much more else to see. Hey, we got a post dark side promo code. I believe it's still working. It's still good. And, uh, like I said, Bench Monster 10. Uh, get 10% off because you are with the Bench Monster and the Bench Monster crew. And uh, order some cuffs, order a Viper 1, order some Surge Wraps, band, a Surge oh, Band. Goodies, yeah, yeah, I mean, what you got, too. Yeah, you know, so take advantage cool. of it. Use me. Yeah, don't just look at me and listen to me. Use me. So, uh, Ashley, let's get to the chat box here All right. in a second. Let everybody oh. take this in. And um, let's get closer so I can see it. Scoot close. Well, you got your glasses on? No, I got my contacts. Okay. Darksidegear.com. Take advantage of that. Uh, this course is Bench Monster TV. And, you know, once again, uh, please send me any uh, workout videos or any type of lifting things that you want on the show, and I put them on there. Uh, one thing I do not ask for is um, lifts that you're doing in the gym uh, that you don't get. I mean, I think people like to see lifts that are completed. I haven't gotten any of those yet, but I thought about it today. I was like, well, if I start getting lifts that are. You know, most people won't. Yeah, say yeah. That. Well, I gotta throw it out there. Unless they feel like it was a, like extreme effort and yeah, that's true. Something special about it, like. Well, you know, I'm glad you're here. Most of us are. What's going on in the chat box? We got yeah. Pet Petco up top. Before we even started the show, he's here. What's he saying? Congrats on the 4K subs, guys. I got 4,000 subscribers. I'm Is doing that pretty what good. That? Is that what? It is? Yeah. Uh, most people have millions Thank and you. stuff, but I'm just me. I'm just, just, just. Some... I know. I look at like some of these other YouTube videos, and I like see how many views they have and how many like followers. I'm like, how? Like some of it's not even. It's like well, just, like random stuff, and I'm like, how? how? Maybe I'm a has been. Nobody knows who I am anymore. Uh, we, four thousand subscribers. That's good. We've got quality. Well, we've got, yeah. We've got people that are tight and I'm not family. I, most people, when you watch your videos, please like and subscribe. I never tell that yeah, to anybody. It's that. your choice. I mean, who am I to tell you what to do? Okay. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't, thanks for watching. Oh, uh, what's next? Well, we got Jimmy, Jimmy Cobe. Cobe. It's Bench Monster Thursday. Bench Good Monster. to have you, Jimmy. Super excited you're here. 1300 and 1020 in a, in a supercharged Ram. Jesus, Amazing. brother. Very you well are from done, another sir. planet. Next time I see you, I'm going to get a blood sample. Uh -huh. See if it's green like mine. Okay, where are we at? CJ Morgani. Hey, everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. Hi, CJ. Hope you're doing well, too. Thank you for joining us. John Smith. Nope, I missed Cody Plum. Sorry, Cody. What up, Bench Monster family? How's it going, Cody? Glad you're here. Congrats on your yeah. performance at the meet like a week or so, a week or two ago. Very nicely done. Um, I'm going to pause for a minute and say, Cody, you need to come down to our gym. We got a ton of band shirts, and I want to get you in a band shirt. Uh, 584 and a Enzer Phenom is cool, but that equivalates to a 784 and a band shirt. Next question, please. John Smith. 
let the swellathon begin. Swole. Hi, John. Glad you're here. Glad you're joining us. Jerry Cool. Ryan and Jimmy, since you're in the chat, I cannot keep my head down benching, and I feel like it's what's screwing me, and my back loosens up, and also, yeah, I can tell Ashley did not like Mendy. <laughs> I, I, liked, I liked Mendy. I just, it got to the, I mean, he's super, super cool. He was super um, entertaining, super fun to talk to. Um, we just never, never had a guest, like, not like, or openly admit, like, that they didn't like the questions and not be willing to answer them. So that, that threw me for a loop. Um, but other than that, I, I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed having him. Um, it was cool to actually meet him. I've heard so much about him over the years. And, um, so I definitely enjoyed having him on the show, but he did, did throw me for a loop with the not being willing to answer the questions. I, I wasn't sure what that was about. You just move on. You know? I, I did, but then it was like every question I asked, I was like, I don't know if I should ask. Of... We got rid of several of them. I yeah. like was looking at Ryan, and he was crossing some out as we went. I was. <laughs> like, let's move on. Let's get yeah. to the chat box. He's done with us. I was like, if he hey. snaps at me over another question again, I'm going to lose my cool. But Okay, well, he's um... got a question within the within the question. Oh, where? About okay, yep, 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 sorry. We, I focused on my part of okay. the question. Okay, well, Jimmy, chime in, please, if you're down there somewhere in the chat box. Um What's happening uh, to keep your head back is uh, it's a verbal cue, which um, we use on our team. And uh, when you take the bar out, as you start the descent, we say head back, chest up. Because a lot of times when you're raising your head, you're also flattening out and getting off the upper, your upper traps and landing flat on your shoulder blades and losing that tightness in your back. So what you need to do is uh, to maintain that base and that tight tightness in the back, you need to actually pull your head back as you're bringing the bar down. Have your handoff guy on the descent and say head back, chest up. And when you hear that, pull that head back like that and keep it pinned to the bench. It's, uh, it's, it's a hard thing to break because uh, I know, uh, I think, who was it? Uh, somebody, you know, it's, I was trying to help. So I can't remember, but they were saying they need to follow the bar down, you know, that type of thing. A lot of people, you know, have been doing that for so long that it's hard to break. So uh, hopefully your head is just coming up. You're not actually following the bar down and watching where it's going. Because you need to break yourself of that. Uh, and I, I, like I say, head back, chest up. Hopefully you hear those verbal cues. Break the bar, spread the bar, squeeze the bar, head back, chest up. It's one of the things, uh, in fact, the other night when I was benching in the uh, two-ply uh, Pharrell shirt he sent me on the descent, um, I was keeping my head back, but I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't belly up, you know. So I'm coming down with the weight, and then I hear Rob Gorman say belly up, and then I push my belly up. But uh, I myself, you know, don't have that problem, um, but a lot of people do. So practice, and you need to practice it in training, not practice it just with big weights, practice it with all weights. Um, so, and Jimmy also ch chimed in here, okay. so I'm going to skip set. We'll come yeah. back to him. Um, Jerry, cool. I purposely raise my head, so that's a great question for Ryan. Hey, you know, um, also on the flip side of the coin is you look at people like, Nobody remembers Matt Lamarck, uh, George Halbert. You know, he was one guy who could actually, if you watched him from the side, I mean, his head would come up, but his base would stay uh, totally arched in all tightness. So basically, his head came up, and he kind of used it as a as a cocking method because once he pressed, he fired his head back, I believe. So if you're one of those guys that can raise your head and and not affect your bench press, more power to you. But if you're raising your head and and losing the tightness in your back, it sounds to me like you're you know, raising your head and falling flat on your shoulder blades. And one bad thing about that is, is when you come down the, the bar on your chest and you're flat on those blades, uh, and you were previously in an arch on the handoff, when you go to bench press, you're not going to press here. You're going to try to jack back and get back in that decline position. So that's all I got to say. All right. Plum. And Jimmy's still watching. Oh, Aha. that's cool. Okay. So you, are we at, did you scroll down? Um, no, I just went to um, Plum right after Jay Cool. Cody Plum. ER racks are death traps. Yeah, they are. Shitheads in Tri Cities almost dropped 584 on me. Were those the spotters? Okay. Well, first of all, Co Cody, that was a USPA meet, and that's a joke. Um, second of all, those spotters were a joke. Um, I should have taken video to prove my case. But when you, they were to, you would get the bar handed out to you, and the spotters on the side had their hands in their pockets. 
straight at their sides. They weren't cupped like this under the bar. It was a fucking shit show. And I tried. The meat director should have been. Well, he's a he's a joke too. Uh, We actually, I think Cody Plum wanted us to spot him. So myself and Forrest, I asked. I said, "Can we spot?" And they we were denied that. Um, Of course you. Yeah, of course we were. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But you know, the the spotters were were a shit. I mean, I saw so many. I mean, they didn't take it unless the bar was at uh, your chest. They're and you really were... lucky nobody got hurt, yeah. and that there was no incidences where it fell out of somebody's hands. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't have much to say, and I don't want to. I don't want to start getting too angry. But yeah, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> um, Cody Plum. I recently started raising my head slightly as I got up over two eighty. Daniel Walsh. Hey, what's up, guys? So happy to see you still doing this. Loved the talk with Mendy. He's quite the character. Ryan, how have you dealt with elbow pain in the past? Like bad tricep tendonitis. Never had tendonitis. Usually what I have is I I get impingements, and I've had a bad one, uh, as you saw in one of my thousand attempts two weeks ago. I pushed the bar up, and it totally locked like three-quarters of the way, and it was tilted. And I stood up, and um, I had Mike Lupacek take the the uh, is it the boomstick that he has? Boomstick, no, yeah, the big head. Or, yeah, twenty five pound, yeah, is yeah. It, or is it the pain pill? No, no boom, boomstick. That's the boomstick. The and so what? Basically, um, what he did is uh, started on the bicep and started rolling out the uh, the opposite muscle, the bicep, and then he turned my arm over and then rolled out my tricep. But I came home and found out that the medial head down here was the one that was pissing it off um i've never had tendonitis so i can't speak on cures for that but uh you know tiny meeker uh talks a lot about ice and um uh with the tendonitis i i, I know tiny meeker has some products also some glc products that oh, uh, yeah, you might want to look products. into but you know a lot of people ask like a cure all for tendonitis like a magic pill I was or hoping to get some more of those. yeah um it just depends uh, is it one elbow is it like tennis elbow is it all those things and and uh a lot of times, you know, you need um, a pin stretching or uh, even like um, a deep tissue, you know, at some point, somewhere up and down on one of the three heads. I mean, uh, I, I throw a conglomerate of things at it. I mean, ice is one thing and supplements are one thing. Deep tissue is one thing. Uh, tens unit is another thing. I mean, uh, I try all things. Peptides. I mean, uh, you, the list goes on and on. So, all right, next one. Jerry, cool. Jimmy, really? Okay, I have been told raising my head is dropping my chest and loosens up the back. Must be something else. I'll see what Canelli says. What do you say about that? Well, yeah, you raise and your you head. Already... You raise your head. You drop. You drop your your chest. You're losing your base. Like if done correctly, that can be part of a like. I mean, that, it sounds like that's what Jimmy does, and some ventures have success. Yeah, some people do, but. John Smith, are all of your shirts given to you? I assume they are since you're the bench monster. No, I pay. Oh, yeah. I, I, get a, I get a couple. I thought you were sponsored and kind of get one. I'm not, I'm not nobody anymore. No, oh. I'm, I'm a husband. So if I get a, if I get some free shirts, I, I really appreciate it. And I, yeah. I can't thank them enough. Okay. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a uh, tightwad. I'm willing to pay and, and, and help, and help thrive, uh, thrive their business too. Yeah. You know, I want people to buy from. Uh, dark side. I post their their ten uh, percent promo code here. I want to give back to these companies because they're working night and day to create awesome products for us. And there's only so many of them out there. And uh, you know, and people are people. You know, I just want to I just want to help help everybody. You know, and to make this a win win situation for all. Chris Smith, where's the swingers club at, homies? Uh, it's in your country of uh, Canada. Where you live. Was that the same person that was asking last time? Probably. Or is that somebody that's making a joke about it? I don't know. Don't know who he is. We have We've... never been to a swingers club. We have no idea where any swingers clubs are. We're not the people to ask about swingers clubs. Yeah, we look, have get no your idea. yellow pages and go. And never look, stepped foot in one. Never. Go to Craigslist and look, not look even for sure a what back goes page. On yeah. I'm... Cody Plum. Cody Plum. Ryan, you left the part out where you showed us how to adjust that SDP so I could get that 584 pounds. Yeah, I don't know if we had a video of that, Cody, but it basically what we did to do that is, is a couple things. Uh, is pulling down the uh, the neckline, um, which I don't do. 
I actually grabbed Cody uh, behind the uh, tricep where the uh, Phenom shirt is creasing. That's the support line that's going to bite in the back of your arm. And what I do is I pull that crease down a half inch. So hypothetically, if he touched with, uh, if he did like 540 opener, I pull that thing down a half inch, he goes to 580. Because usually when you pull it down a uh, half or three quarters of an inch, you got to take a 50 pound jump. CG, CG Morgani. At Cody Plum, that was a great bench. And then Cody Plum says, thanks, bro. Looks silly right under Ryan's 903 super heavyweight record on our Washington state list. But I'm just getting started. Very cool. Yeah, very impressive. Nice work. Very impressive. John Smith, what was Mendy talking about? How you need to get your shit together. You'll smoke him on any given day, bro. Well, a lot of a lot of stuff goes one ear out the other, to be honest <laughs> with you. It's like uh I don't know, I just I get bits and pieces of it. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh my whole thing is I, I just want to see Mind Mindy get a, a nice lift in a band shirt. I think that'll That'll set him, boost his confidence and make him much worse than he is now. And he'll, be, he'll call me up and rubbing it in. So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for. I want him to get a big lift in. So uh, he can, you know, root and toot whatever he's got to say. But, uh, yeah, I, I just, uh, I'm rooting for him too, man. I want him I want him to do well. And I don't want him to see him get hurt. And right. uh, I want, you know, he's 52 years old. You know, not a young buck anymore like me. He's like four years apart hey we're old Five, we're ogs man okay you what's are? cody plum You're got to say OGs. here i will give you that thank you john smith <laughs> cody plum i'm dropping down to 275 this weekend for a single ply meet in kirkland oh cool right on nice kill it what federation is that cody yeah <clears throat> curious. uh frank hell yeah one rep max hey bench monster fam 25 minutes late, but better late than never, right? How are you guys? Yes, better late than never, for sure. We're yeah. really glad you could make it. We are doing good. We're doing good. Everything's going well. Hope you posted you're doing your videos well. on here, one rep. Once you'll oh, yeah. check out the show. You might want to rewatch it yeah. since we put your videos on. I told him I would. So you might want to rewind later and, and rewatch that because you're on there. Uh... James Orlando, read that one. Hope Jimmy is still here. Just wanted to say the 5x5 five five at 1,000 is one of the greatest feats of strength I've ever seen. I have Incredible. not seen it. Can somebody send it to me? Um, here's my email. I'd like to see that. Yeah, that'd be cool. We'll post it on the five show. 5x5? Five five? What, what was that yeah. again? Five sets of five reps oh. with 1,000 pounds. Well, I think it was a two-board. Somebody know. texted me something about it. I may be wrong. Still? Still. No, it's awesome. And are you Jimmy, sure? I, I don't know. Jimmy would, would answer that question. Um, where are we at? Remy? No. Yeah. Yeah, Remy. Remy Shirley. Thanks for the Scott Mendelson interview last week. Did you get a hold of Eric Spoto? Well, as you may or may not know, Mendelson was going to hook me up with his number. If you remember correctly. So um oh i, I gotta call him yeah Middleton texted me today and oh, I, was, really? I was yeah i was busy he's got a money making opportunity i don't know but then again i saw him on facebook doing cameo which is like you know superstars get on there and i don't you know movie stars and porn stars and ufc <laughs> fighters do it you pay like 50 bucks and you can do like a 30 second um vid really? a video message to like, oh yeah, yeah. they're, they're kind of cool yeah, I think. I yeah, so I don't. I, I I just been it's been hectic today, and I forgot to call him. But I need to get Spoto's number, and uh, I, God, I want to pick his brain too. Yeah, for sure. And we will work on getting him That'd on the show. So cool, yeah. He's a that, cool. That he's a be, cool, laid back cat, man. And he's very too. knowledgeable, and he's got a lot of uh, raw training techniques that I definitely want to know. So we'll work on that. Where are we at now, Miss Ashley? I'm oh, sorry, I was sneaking ahead. Um. But Cody, Plum. Did, Cody Plum, but did you use the the skull smash? Oh, oh. Cody, I use it. I left the my favorite one is the weed flavored one, so I left that at home. But I took the other one to the gym and used it on Tuesday night. And oh my god, son, <laughs> I can't thank you enough, Cody. That shit. Oh, is, did he send you some? Yeah, it's on the mantle you didn't up there. Share with me. No. 
The weed nice. one, actually, you know, I mean, I was expecting like a pine flavor. I swear to God, there's weed crushed up in it. It's mm -hmm. like, smells like marijuana. So, Orlando. James Orlando would love to see you interview Spoto. We're hoping for that. That's... Yeah, I've never talked to the guy. I've text messaged him and talked to him on Facebook, but yeah, I, have lot... I just never spoke with him. And like I said, if I scroll down deep enough into my Facebook messages, 2014, if I can get back that far, he left me his number. It was like a 734 area code or something. So I might be able to find that on my own and you call totally him up. You totally should. I mean, you... Yeah, I think he'll no, answer. I think he'll answer all our questions. I, do, I yeah, I totally do. You can answer every question. Tell us what we want to hear, and have, be a great interview. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, who's next? And clearly, a, a lot of our yeah. Well, yeah. French Monster family would like to see it also. So, yeah. you kind of need to get on that. It's gonna be your job. Okay, what's your job? Read the questions. Okay, which I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see here. Yosef. Yosef. Motion, Mosin, 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 Mosin. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, Yosef, he Austin, hello Texas. from Austin, Texas. My favorite couple. Thank you, Aww, Yosef. Thank Be you. We're so glad to have you here. City, Austin. We really appreciate it. A lot of things. Cool glad you're Texas. joining us. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to go back there. We were supposed to, but COVID changed everything. Well, we're about out of COVID, so. We're getting there, man. Jerry Cool. Jerry Cool. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm following the bar down. I do it raw, too. And I don't know why I've always done it. I'm trying my best to stop the he head raising. I yeah. Think. You've been doing it for a while, and it's it's just a natural Pretty movement. Ingrained, probably. I threatened to duct tape one of my lifters' heads to the bench one time. And uh, you can't raise your head if it's duct taped to the bench make it harder for no, sure. No, you'll you'll correct it. You just have to yeah, you have to train it, you have to practice it, you have to do it over repetitively over and over and over again. And uh like I said, verbal cues are always a big thing. Taking the bar out and as you make the descent with any amount of weight, your lift out partner says head back, chest up. And actually when you pull your head back like that, that chest will stay up in the air too. That's where you land the bar. So why would you want to flatten this area out and make it further to push? I know I wouldn't. Mm -mm. All right, where are we at? Let's see. Sean Deal. Sean Deal. What are some things you do to help sleep after max effort bench? Ever since I got in the high 500s, low 600s, yeah. I really struggle to sleep at night. Well, Sean, you uh, there's a lot of over-the-counter things. Where's your product that you got tonight? Oh, you want me to go grab it? I'll get it. Okay. We got a new product. Um, that I'm, I'm supposed to try. It's supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be amazing. I'm going to try it, too. Um one of the things i do is uh there's gaba there's um melatonin benadryl those things like that um then there's combining those at some point i know that uh fade out by redcon is a great uh sleep product i bought that uh a while back and it was great flavored and mixed it up like an hour. i always take it like an hour and a half before i want to sleep Otherwise, I always worry about hangover with anything. Taking anything like right before bed, and then when the alarm goes off at six o'clock, a lot of times shit's still working, and you wake up groggy, and I, I don't like that. So, um, if you're over the counter stuff, I mean, there's a quite a ton of things. But my go-to, the basic, simplest, simplistic stuff, is uh, melatonin and uh, Benadryl, dephydramine, and um, I mean, there's all kinds of supplements at the GNC place, whatnot. But uh, GABA is another one, and magnesium. But sometimes supplements like this one here has all of those things in it. Then you get into Lunesta's, Ambien, Seroquel. I mean, if it gets, uh, but those are addictive uh, prescription drugs. Somebody wanted to make a cameo appearance here? No. <laughs> so what is this called? This Neurocalm. Boy, I can't see those. It's supposed to be amazing. Fuck, what do you need, a magnifying glass to read yeah, so anyway, it has a 5-HTP, it has B6, it has... Read it. You read yeah. it. I, I need I need Superman vision to read that. It's kind of dark in here, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, it's got a combination of things. It? Vitamin B6. B6. Vitamin B12. B12. Magnesium. Magnesium. Inositol. 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 Taurine. Taurine. 
Chamomile. Chamomile. All natural. Gamma. Gamma. Gabba. It says gamma. Gamma. Okay. Something. Gamma. Gamma. Something. Um. Uh, some people. Thionine. Thionine. Yeah. Five uh, HTP. Five HTP. Yeah. Just basic over the counter stuff. Boss. Phosphatidylserine. Yes. Yeah. Um, or, you know, people use marijuana. I mean, that's, that's not an option. Um, but a lot of, a lot of things we mentioned are typical things you can work into your system that are, that are, I would, I mean, whatever this is, we'll try this obviously, but, uh, I really like the, uh, fade out by Redcon. We had it upstairs. Yeah. That was good stuff. And it's, I don't think it's as good as that's going to be. Though. Well, I think it's better because it was strong. I, th I think a scoop of that and I was drooling on the pillow, dreaming about things uh, that are Jake just. And, Jake and Hines were. Well, we're, swearing we'll find that, out. So. Okay, what's next, Let's Ashley? Are you going to hold the cat or read questions? Can I do both? I don't know. He wanted to make a cameo. Just read the when questions. Up, he was, not this time, but the last time I went up, he was eating one of my, like I had that ranch out. He was eating the ranch. He's a dumpster diver. Yeah. Uh, which one are we on here? Well, I don't know. Uh, where are you at here? Awesome. Jerry, cool. That's actually what I'm doing. Sean Deal. Sean Deal. James Orlando. Orlando. Any chance we can get bench tech be, get a bench technique tutorial? Oh, it skipped. Or would a seminar ever be in the class? You know, I think I think a tutorial. I was I was gonna start doing basic stuff like how to how to do the rolling dumbbells. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to do the method of how to do them like I do. So, and I just bought a. Let me go get it. Kind of cool. We got what? more questions coming through. Oh, hold on. I'm holding on. Me and Tank got it. We'll host the show. I just bought this. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I'm shooting some cool ass ass videos. Ooh yeah. I got a Sony A7C and a DJI RS2 gimbal, so I can do some uh, vlogging. Walk around and and it tilts on an That's axis. Cool. It's like I think it's three thousand dollars setup, so I don't have any reason to not go to the gym and film no, some things now with this bad really boy. Not. Well, now when we first started this, that was the idea: is we plan to go to the gym quite often and throw in some tutorials on different things, like I mean, bench technique and different assistance exercises and how to use bands and chains and stuff. Like a lot that. of the basic stuff that I take for granted, some people don't know how to do: how to hook up the bands, how to do, how to figure out what uh, speed rep. Uh, band bar rate ratio to you. So, as far as a seminar goes, the last one I did was in Anchorage, Alaska, and it was how long, Ashley? I don't remember, but it was a long time. It's five know. hours. Oh, I was going to say even longer. Than yeah. That. Um, I just don't shut up. I mean, I start from A and I go all the way to Googleplex. Like, yeah, I mean, I don't stop. You get your money's worth, like, because they, I like. He spoke for hours. Yeah, and I had more to talk about. I don't want to quit. They had to actually shut it down and feed there people. Was, they had, there was some reason they had to they had to go, yeah. but yeah. He'll talk as long as you want to hear about the bench press. A lot, yeah. Okay, one rep. Um, where is he? Since. Skip him. Cody's doing a USPA meet. Okay. <laughs> Cody Plum, right here. Read that one. So Okay, yeah. It's a, so Cody Plum. I'm getting stoked for APF meet in Tra Troutdale on July 10th. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I thought, oh, I guess it is the weekend after, we go. 4th of July. Cody, you think we get you in a band shirt by then, or you still going to show up with uh, Phenom and yada, yada, yada? I'm trying to convert you, Cody. <laughs> Elmore Henri Henriquez, how often do you deload, Ryan? Um... Once every, I, I go by feel lately. Um, back in the day, I would go two weeks, balls to the wall, and the third week I would deload. And then I decided I didn't like that, so now I kind of just go by feel and deload when I need to. Um, I'm trying to reduce the um, deload. I don't like to waste any workout. To me, it's a wasted uh, Tuesday if I have to deload. I mean, so I like to ride the wave somehow, maybe not be going super heavy, Maybe having a day like you saw in the video where we used a two-ply band shirt or a slingshot and worked with, you know, in, in my rep range, you know, between five and 700. So hope, I'm trying to find ways to continuously train above and beyond without having to deload. But if you uh, 
specifically need one, your body will let you know. I asked Mendelssohn that question. You know, you go into the gym, uh, and when you know you go in to lift weights, and you're you you know you're just totally shot out. What do you do? And Mendelssohn said he walks out. So, uh, you can either go by feel or uh, dictate when you are going to deload. I don't know if you're a three lift lifter or just a bench only guy, but if you uh, you train uh, the bench press super heavy for two weeks in a row, um, you know Westside will say, "Well, just switch exercises." But uh, it's just it's up to you as far as uh, when, when do you think you need it. I myself, old school Ryan, would say every third week I would deload. Two weeks heavy, deload. And a deload is uh, 315 for on the bench for three sets of 10 to push downs. And that's my workout because the central nervous system is just beat up on the third week. And so it's time to chill. Mr. Elite Entertainment. I just wanted to say many thanks for the awesome interview with Scott last week. It was awesome to hear the good stuff he said about you, Ryan, and also interesting on how he doesn't use bands yeah. or chains. Yeah, Mendelssohn doesn't do speed work, doesn't use bands or chains, uh, you know, and uh, and look what it's done for him. So, you know, there's there's no, uh, you have to use this or have to use that. Everything works, you know, and you just got to find out what works for you. And uh I'm a big believer in everything. I mean, if I went, if Scott trained me, I would do, I would drop bands and chains and I've done it before, you know, and, uh, and I'll, I'll do anything, you know, I, change is always good. One of the things I things for people to do is change, but, uh, a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm open, like, you know, I'll try something different. I don't care. But Middleton's I awesome. He loves me. I love him. And we're two competitive yeah, motherfuckers there were some and, sweet moments in yeah that for sure. and, and then we go head to head on, on on stage you know we're bitter enemies and we hate each other and then when it's all over we're we're uh drinking dom perion together so how many times have you guys competed together well mendelson said something but i honestly have competed him with arnold my first year 2002 he beat me he did 755 i did 739 second time i competed with him was in the ukraine he did a 986 i did a 1036 and those were the only two times? That's Well, he was a guest lifter at his uh, show in L.A. when he had the Fit Expo. And he guest lifted and tried 1,015 three times. And I did 903 and missed 946. Had the bloody eyeballs, the Sunday bloody Sunday lift. And uh, that was it. So oh. took the $5,000 check. So most of your competition was like with rec- – it wasn't like actually at competitions together. It was – trading your record back and a lot of times you know i'd fly to uh detroit and mendelson would be competing out there and i'd just be hanging out with uh, a girl and uh you know rooting him on so yeah i, I, I love mendelson if there was no mendelson pretty cute there was no mendelson there'd be no me so yeah i mean you definitely like sparked each other and yeah definitely definitely some some sweet moments last week That's remy cool shirley day. i was kind of still talking but i guess i'm done with that one Remy Shirley, Ryan, get on OnlyFans. Well, Isn't I it fans only. I thought that was the one where the chicks just strip and get naked on there for live shows. Okay. Am I wrong? Does anybody want to correct me Does on that? Does anybody want to explain? Is what that just for fans like fans only or OnlyFans is? Um, mentally weak and insecure people get on there and spread their legs. I don't know. I might be wrong. Correct us if Mr. Wrong. Elite Entertainment. Could feeder workouts be used for prehab slash rehab purposes? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. T. Pressifer. Spoto does well on interviews. He'll be good for the show. Okay. Good to hear. Nice. Well, we're, we're hoping, man. I Keep w- bugging him. Keep bugging him every week. Keep bugging him well, about other bugging, guests, too. I've been bugging Wes I McCormick. I want to see Ed Cohn. Uh, Wes McCormick. Wes McCormick. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of West Side stuff going on. You know, I like to hear that. Uh, Becca Swanson. I see her yeah, on. There's a lot yeah. of people that you could get that you haven't. Yeah, so. good Just female guys. Bugging him, guys. Shauna Middleson. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. At Cody Pla- No. One rep max. By the way, just filled out the registration form for Mendy's Meet yep. in June. Just got to send it in. Ha ha. And thank you. We'll re- rewatch later as well. Nice. Good luck at that meet, Mr. One Rep Max. Yes. Yes. When Cody Plum. June, June. Cody Plum. I've been using the Brain Grenade flavor from Skull Smash recently. Rosanna has been using Badass Bitch. Ashley, have Ryan buy that one for you. Badass Bitch, okay. You gotta buy Badass Bitch. I'll buy it. I need it. 
How you doing, Paul Loeffler? Hi, Ryan and Ashley. Ryan, do you think melatonin has diminishing return has diminishing returns effect? All I know about melatonin is it's something you don't want to take for a prolonged period of time because you interrupt your natural melatonin uh, production to fall asleep. So it's a temporary uh, thing. It's uh, maybe cycle it, you know, a f- couple weeks on and then, but you know, I'm no doctor. How do I know? That's what somebody told me. So I like melatonin. But I think uh, just like anything, eventually you start, uh, I have to start, you know, upping the dose. When I was taking three mig and then nine mig, and I'm up to 10. So, That's very cool. <laughs> Duct tape, LOL. I was literally thinking about tying it with a mini band. No, mini band stretch. Duct tape True. will leave you anchored. Yeah, but having the mini band tied to Then we take it off is the fun might, part. Like, remind you. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Elite Entertainment. <clears throat> what is Louis Simmons' approach on rehab? Unfortunately, I partially tore the lateral head of my tricep. It's a minor grade one injury. I found reverse grip bench press to be pain free due to internal rotation. What is Louis Simmons' approach to rehab? You know, uh, Louis Simmons has a phone number and he's not, nine times out of 10 known to answer it and will answer any questions for you. It's just a matter of catching him i don't know how because i mean um black west side you know he would call him up i called up louis you know and he and i Did he, call, he called up Louis. yeah called up louis you just got to catch him and um he will he will give you the answer that you want to hear and what you need to hear because i don't know uh his stance on that and i'm not going to speak for him howard weingarten just did a wrpf meet at gracie v's gym last weekend and did 617 in a Pharrell shirt nice. and finished with a 1774 total. But having problems with getting my belly up, is that is that different from chest up or not? No, and what the, and that may be happening with the shirt. A lot of times those shirts actually push your stomach down. One, one thing you can do is... Uh, uh, is allow a little extra fat. Once you cinch your belt, actually pull up a little bit of fabric from underneath your belt so that when you arch, that you have a little room there to push up your stomach. I used to do that in a phenom. And what you have to do is put that air in your stomach when you breathe in. You don't put it in your chest. You got to put it in your stomach. And belly up is another cue that uh, we did on Tuesday night. I was coming down with weight and my stomach was actually, you know, compressed and tight. And uh, they said, belly up. And once I heard that, I pop my stomach up. It's almost a cue you need to hear because you will not do it. A lot of people won't do it on their own. Belly up is a verbal cue too. Just like head back, chest up. Hybrid. Hybrid. When Louis says to sometimes use illegal grip to increase bench during training, how does it work? That's an inch, inch, inch and an inch or more outside of the legal uh, rings on, on a bench bar. So... Louis speaks highly of that uh, for building, is it pectorials or something? Um, it's a lot harder movement. And one thing I don't like about it is if you don't do it correctly, if you don't actually uh, keep those elbows in, you'll actually bench with your elbows completely out at nine and three, which could spell disaster for your pec. Pecs. So, but they usually, those are cycled, uh, illegal wides. Uh, when Louis does a six by six, eight by eight, 10 by tens, Usually the first grip, uh, half, uh, first half of the sets are with a contest grip and then illegal wide. And we do those once in a while, too, when we're doing the repetition method. One rep max. Another way to get sleep is to, oh, wait, I don't. Never mind. I'll look into those products. Ha ha. Neuro, Neurocore, you said? That's what it was called, right? Neurocalm. Ne- Neurocalm. Like calm. Yeah. Neuro calm. Looks you already showed it on there. You can't see it very well. Google it. I don't even know what's on if it's on Google. I'm trying to get the right light. Uh, yeah, light sucks. I tried. You're get, you're sorry, <laughs> Just basically showing you a white bottle. Sorry. Hey, Forrest Jenkins is here. Forrest. Teammate. Yep. What's up, brother? What's up, Ashley? Stoked to be lifting with you and the crew. Thanks for helping bring me back into the grind. Looking forward to smashing tomorrow. This show is cool as hell. Thank you, Forrest. Thank you, Forrest. Glad that you've been joining us each week and been great to have you in the gym and watch you rocking it. Oh, he brings the fire and pushes it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Sean Deal. Sean Deal. How long did it take to go over 100 with the dumbbell rollover? I've gotten up to 65 and thought my elbows were going to blow up on a set of six. Well, uh, rolling dumbbells, I've always never, I never went that heavy. Usually, even back in 2002 and three when I first started, you know, I, I used between 60 and 80, 90. I never really grabbed the hundreds because uh, the, the amount of volume and reps because I could, never could get that many. And eventually over time, you know, doing all the tricep stuff that we do, uh, eventually you find yourself getting easy reps with 80s and, you know, you get stronger. And uh, now I'm doing 100, 105, 110s. Probably, uh, you know, I think it's uh, funny to say, but I just wonder if it's capable of doing 150s. I mean, I was cracking out 105s. I know it's a long ways away. It's not, it's not, it's not as close as you think, but uh, eventually I want to get to, you know, 120, 25, 30, start rolling those bad boys out. But over time, you just your triceps get stronger, and that type of movement you become, you become stronger at it. Just the more you do things, you're gonna become better at it. So, but you know you're gonna have to uh, uh, develop that area right here, and a lot of times it'll get pissed, it'll, it'll get hot and red, and uh, but over time it will adapt, and and you will uh, get stronger, and you'll be doing more and more and more. You just gotta cycle them in, cycle them in, two weeks at a time, and switch. Maybe three weeks, and then leave them alone, and then bring them back. If you do them over and over again, you're not going to become any gooder at them, better at them. Any gooder at them? Gooder. <laughs> any better at them, no, you're actually going to cycle them backwards. Any gooder at you're them. Y'all going to get any gooder at them. <laughs> Sean Deal has got another question, I think. At Jerry Cool, I'm definitely duct taping your head to the bench the next time you come up. Yeah. Mainly because I want to inflict pain on you since you beat me on the bench last and week. And it works. <laughs> That sounds like a good time. Cody Plum. I was just joking about that. No, Duct won't. taping. We never done it to nobody. It will Wait. keep your head down, though. Cody Plum. Yeah, we will come try it out, but probably on a Saturday yeah, if that's, that's cool. okay with you and the crew. Just let us know. Give us a heads up. Howard Weingarten. Second part of that question is do you think getting my feet behind my knees in the bench set up and heel flat through the press, would that help steady my bench? Uh, yes and no. Mendelssohn benches on his toes, you know, behind his knees. It depends on where your feet placement is, where they're going to be. Um, but it could uh, possibly correct the issue. It's something you have to try and, and see if it uh, perfects what you're trying to perfect. All right, I assume we're talking about the stomach still. Right? So. Possibly. So. It's worth a try. And another thing, though, is if your bench, your feet placement is out somewhere else and you're then you try to bring them back to a whole other different position, it's going to be awkward as hell for a while because it's too much of a transformation. A lot of times people bench with their feet out and we change them up just a little bit and it's a, uh, it's like re-riding the bike over again. It's weird. Roger Brome. Ryan, is your deload scalable like for a 500 pound bencher would you recommend half of your deload weight but same sets and rep numbers um kind of half yeah because you know at the time i was doing the 315 i could bench you know anywhere from 620 to 640 so yeah i guess that's 50 percent of my of my raw rep max is what i was using so that's correct i didn't realize that until you just said it so it's half of my, my my raw max, basically. Yeah, 50%. Very cool. Sean Deal, LOL. I want you to know I'll never let you live that down. First rep I did in your shirt, I hit 700. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Um, Elmer Hen Hen Henriquez. Henriquez. I believe in weighted dips, but it hurts my... Sh hurts his shit. Um, oh, hurts my shit. Yeah, okay. hurt, depends on. Um, Say shin doesn't make sense. Don't know. Don't know why it's hurting, but uh, weighted dips can do a different, a whole bunch of different things to different people. We do them off and on. Nobody likes to do them too much, especially if you're uh, leaning forward, utilizing a lot of front delt. If you can be uh, somewhat straight up and down and do them, I think they're more beneficial for the triceps. But Remy Shirley. Where? Down here. 
LOL, I'm just messing. Only fans is dumb. Yeah. Just figured Scott's on Cameo. Ryan should do Only Fans. LOL. We're going to go check it out on uh, Google after this. Only Fans? Yeah. Oh, well, there's some chick that does it here. I don't mention any names, but yeah. Run, yeah. So whatever. One rep max. Quick, <coughs> quick question. You're right there. You're well, hacking I, up a I went down the wrong pipe. Let me ask some more Crown Royal. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Um, where are we at? One right max. Oh, thank you. Quick question. What do you guys think about the iron bone training that the martial artists do? Would it help with powerlifting, you think? I don't want my forearm to snap anytime soon. I will have to get back to you on that. I have I'm no idea sure what, what you're talking about. I'm not but sure I'm sure Google iron... will educate me. Roger Brome. <laughs> Roger Brome. Doing... The Wim Hof method. The Wim Hof method, breathing and cold exposure before bed helps mm. big time. Look him up on YouTube and try it when you can't sleep, and it helps recovery. Let me write that down before we exit the show here. The Wim Hof, like Wim, Dave Hoff, Wim, Wim, Wim. Method? Wim Hof method. Okay. Always looking. Sleep's the most important. You write down Iron Bone, too, while we're at it. What's it called? Iron Bone? Iron Bone. I'll look that up, too. Curious. Always looking for ways to get better, more deep, more consistent sleep. What's wrong? Oh, I felt, I don't know, I felt like it was warmth coming off of that for a second. Oh, I got a little close to the microphone. Deep. Okay. Put your mouth Anywho. towards the big black thing and talk. Chuckles the clown <laughs> over here. Chuckle. Great. Yeah. Uh, Where am Dave? I? Dave. What about? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Dave. Dave, have Ooh. you ever tried Mike Womack bison? No. Band shirt. Bench daddy. I have a four ply that a thousand thirty five won't even come down in. So I've never used it again. And I know what you're thinking. Put 1,200 or put, um, it doesn't bend. It's like, it's immobile. But maybe I need to break it out and use it to tow the car or something. Get a little bit of flex in it. Sure. Alex Estrada. Ryan, the very best product for sleep or the chronic sleep problems is a product called Hypnose by... Ah, I bumped up. Ch Chose? I'm writing it down. Hypnose by... Chose and pain? Chose and... Well, I'm just going to write pain. I'll Google some shit tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm hungry. All right, thank you. Thanks for the recommendation there. Robert Brome. Joe Rohan. I assume that's Joe Rogan. Has had win on his show. That's Rogan, probably. That's so okay. Well, I don't. I'm not familiar with it, so I can't. I'm not familiar. I, with I can't say it. anything. Is so. this a lifter? I assume. I got it written down. Read on. Oh, Mary Askew. Hey, Mary Askew. Hi, Ashley and Ryan. Hope you both have been doing great. Can't wait to train with the Bench Monster crew on Tuesday. Ashley, I'll make sure to swing over on a Saturday in June to train and hang out with you. Yeah. That would be awesome. We'd love to see you. That'd be great. We'll go, we'll go out for lunch again. And yeah, definitely. We're looking forward to seeing you, Tremit. I know I haven't filled out my registration yet. I haven't either. He's got control of the printer, and I keep asking. I emailed him the registration, and he's supposed to print it out. For Working me. on it. I'm going to have to. Ten weeks. I mean, it's take time. over. I know. Howard Weingarten. But I'm still I am I'm still planning on registering, so excited to 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 do your meet. Hopefully see you soon on a Saturday before then. Thanks for joining us, Mary. Always glad to have you here. Howard Weingarten. Yes, still talking about the stomach. Thank you. I usually press with my feet in front. I'm going to try with my feet back and heels down. I heard it from Maddox. Yeah. That'd be a good guy to listen to for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, one rep max. Basically, they whack themselves in the shin or forearms and ribs to build up bone density. 
Muay Thai guys literally chop down trees by kicking them and stuff. Right. You want to increase your bone density? Just uh, work your way up and wait. I mean, when I first started, I could uh, bench what? Three, 135. 135 in my sophomore year. Now I can hold and handle weight, and I never had b- kicked or anything done to me. Um, you, you bought your body genetically will go there or it won't go there. You're either made to be a warrior with super crazy power like thousand pounds to hold and shit or you're made to hold 500 you know so the proof's in the pudding man don't blame me blame your parents <laughs> genetics are a big factor in this game i always say that well look at pb herman genetically and gifted individual genetics play huge fact look at yourself i know it's a touchy subject but i love you <laughs> It's on, it's on tape. That is called domestic violence. You can go to jail. <laughs> Next question. Everybody's going to be on my side. You're being rude. And I have that on video too. Domestic violence. Oh, wait till the cameras yeah. turn off. No! Oh! Oh, if I'm not here next There's week. like one question left and then. This is evidence. Take it to court. In stream and And everybody will on. stand up for me. <laughs> no, they won't. Yeah. Oh, no. You guys be the jury trial. Oh, no, trial. guys. You're, you got my back, right? Yeah. You I'll be need- dead. You put you put her away for life, <laughs> mandatory minimum, death sentence. So Fire you're squad. admitting that I can beat the shit out of you. Well, it's gonna happen. Yeah, well they're gonna right. help me. Okay. I know the court system. What? These are my fans. We, the defendants, find Ashley Condre guilty of manslaughter of Brian the Bench Monster Canelli. We sentence her. Oh, to nobody death. is gonna sentence me for manslaughter if I. Well, you killed me. No. Yeah. Okay, Alex Estrada. Hey. House of Pain. Chaos and pain. Oh, chaos and pain. Oh, <laughs> good hits, Ashley. See, Cody. Cody's on my side. See, our fans are going to take my. I don't side. need to take this abuse. <laughs> I don't have to live like this. <laughs> I, fans I, like I don't it, feel, man. We might have. I don't to do feel some safe in my that. home. I'm crying for help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this arm he was broke. giggling when you did exactly. So yeah. when they play the tape and record, I, I'm going to say, "You see how he's giggling." Here's speed bench tomorrow. Cause this yeah. arm this arm don't work. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Hey guys. Um Spoto. I gotta go find Spoto. You do. I'll call you Mendelssohn. Gotta keep bugging him I'll call Mendelssohn that. tomorrow and see if I can't get his phone number. Because he's gonna say that, but he probably won't. So I gotta call Mendelssohn anyway. Gonna take you guys each week just asking where's Spoto, where's our next guest. It takes you know. Bill Gillespie too. Is another, Bill Gillespie, another. Ed Cohn. Shauna Mendelson. I'm scared. Ed Cohn, I'm intimidated by Ed Cohn. So. Maybe I'll even see if I can reach out to Jen Thompson. Jennifer Tom- Phelps. There you go. Yeah. I don't know. If- Ed Cohn. I mean, he's a he's he's I the goat. I, I bet you I could get Laura Phelps. You talk to her? I I used to face like when I first got on Facebook and first started powerlifting. I used to like I when I did my first full power meet, I was like messaging her a few times back. Is and she forth, still lifting? And she got back to me like. Yeah. Um, I don't know that she can. We saw at the Arnold. She like helps put on meets, and she, yeah, we saw at the Arnold. Yeah. Um, I mean, she's definitely still in the powerlifting. Hey, if you if she says yay, then dude, let's do that. That'd be cool. I think she might like if I you know, I say hey, I met you at the Arnold. I'm Ryan. I'll I'll probably name drop a little bit, but um, I think that maybe. Okay. Ah! Showbit Jane, we are on at your side, Ashley. <laughs> but then one rep Max is asking if he should call the cop. So it sounds like the audience is it's divided. Split. Yeah, <laughs> we have a hung jury. Thank Damn you, it. Showbit Jane. <laughs> Nate Brandon Horse, where you at, man? You said you'd be here for me. He'd be on my. Nate would totally be on my I've side. I've turned him. Oh no. Yeah. Nate would he totally be on. Be on my okay, side. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we gotta be right there helping me. We gotta go get some food and what else we gotta do? A lot of things. A lot of things to do in a short amount of time. I have to go to the store and get contact solution. Contact solution. My eyes are driving me nuts because I had to soak my contacts in water last night. Because I Distilled water. Yeah, but it's still, it's not my yeah, contact Yeah, it's, it's not normal. You don't put that in your I brain. I put them in today and I was like, What oh. store are you going to? It's 8.30. Uh, probably just Albertsons. Albertsons. I don't want to go very far. Okay. Hey, Bench Monster family, Bench Monster crew, all those and above, we thank you for joining us. As always, Thursday. we totally appreciate you spending your Thursday night here with us. Listen to me ramble Listen and watching ramble my boring and... speed bench videos and such. 
Yeah. We, we really appreciate you guys showing up each week. Um, and we look forward to doing it again next week. We hope Absolutely. you have a wonderful rest of your week this week. Tomorrow's Friday. We made it. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Friday. That arm sure hurts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, we got to go. It's getting violent in the Canelli household. Yeah, we got to get the cameras off. <laughs> yeah, turn the cameras off. There's too much evidence on here. Uh, I don't even know if this will upload on YouTube because of the domestic violence that occurred on here at the end. <laughs> Yeah, they don't post the stuff like that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful Friday tomorrow and a great weekend. The Minch Monster signing off. Week.